Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another one of our course vlogs. This time we're out here on the edge of the world, Torrey Pines down here in San Diego and we're playing the north course this time. I've played the south course before right after the US Open so go ahead and go check that out at the link in the description below. You can also catch the front nine down there if you haven't seen that. Hey, let's head on out there to the 10th hole, the long par five straight out towards the ocean. Here we go. Paralleling the first hole of the south course there on the left-hand side of your picture, the 10th hole here is right off the back balcony of the clubhouse and a long par five gonna be playing downhill into the green. Off the tee, it is relatively flat and the only bunker you need to avoid is that one on the right-hand side. It is very deep, has lots of fingers in it, and will serve as the only hazard pretty much on this entire hole. Once you head past the bunker, it's gonna start heading down the hill all the way towards the ocean, and the green is just gonna get in the way here. It's a simple and beautiful approach down the hill and a gorgeous opening to probably the best set of nine holes here on the Torrey Pines property. Now we've been trusting the cut all day off the tee and we overdid this one just a little bit and we found that deep bunker. Now I was just trying to hit a six iron to chip it out of the bunker here and it came up right in the lip in front of me. Two shots out of the bunker is not ideal, especially when it's in the fairway bunker. An eight iron here from the front lip was enough to get it up and over the lip, but send it right through the fairway. 81 yards is a knockdown lob wedge for me and I was able to get this one to bounce on the front edge and just trickle on. These greens are very firm and the first bounce is going to be a lot bigger than you might see on most other golf courses. A nice five footer to save par on the long par five and it's time to turn around and head right back up the hill. A gorgeous par four sitting here along the cliff's edge. The 11th hole is pretty much the easiest hole on the golf course per the rating, but there is a lot of trouble up there if you're not careful. Plenty of bunkers sit and dot the fairway all the way up towards the green, really protecting any kind of shot you want to hit off the tee. Comfortably lay one over the first bunker before the second one, and you should have about 75 to 100 yards into this short par four. Now, I was just trying to smooth the two iron here up the hill to that 75 yard number. I hit my distance quite well, but it tugged it off to the left hand side. Plenty of fluffy stuff over here to play with, and it was just a full lob wedge for me here, sending it up to this middle hole location, which was very accessible. Come on, get in the hole. But I just couldn't get the putt to drop. The 12th hole, oh my gosh, the set of par threes here on the back nine are awesome. Playing downhill off the tee, probably about a five yard adjustment from most of the tee boxes. This green is severe with a front bowl here and a big back section where today's hole location is placed. Now I was in between clubs and chose to go with one less. A smooth seven iron here to the middle of the green. Did not want to go long to that back flag. That would have been trouble. Just couldn't get it up on the back tier though and it landed down in the front bowl. 30 feet up the hill to this flat area and it's just so so hard to judge those long putts when they're coming up from a different tier but it is nice when the greens are rolling as pure as they are here man these bent grass greens are perfect with a set of tee boxes littering the front of this hole all the way back up into the clubhouse, this hole can stretch to 460 yards from the tips, and this hole just drifts ever so slightly to the right and slightly starts to climb the hill. 460 yards is a long way though, and that big bunker is nearly as wide as the fairway, and this green is awesome. 
two tiers left and right though which is not something you see every day and this front left hole location is treacherous with the false front also protecting it Now another big cut off the tee, I had no trouble with the canyon on the left, but it did get under the trees here on the right. Nothing that would impede the shot though, a pure 8 iron here from 185 yards. I was aiming for the center of the green, hoping the ridge would take it down to the left hand side, but it was no can do. The putt's gonna have to do its justice, up and over that ridge, trying to feed all the way down that hole location but I left myself another five footer for par. When putts like that continue to go in, it's the kind of round we love to see. It just keeps you alive and keeps you mentally in it. Now here, the 14th hole, this is probably, nah, let's call it my second favorite hole on the back nine. 451 yards from the tips, you gotta get it down all the way to this corner to reveal the beautiful green sitting down the hill, a good seven yard adjustment from the middle of the fairway all the way down to this green. It's just one bunker way short of it protecting. Not a lot of trouble to deal with. Get your number right and you might be able to score. Gosh, this hole is beautiful. Now with the trees lining both sides of this fairway, it does look a little bit narrower than most of the holes out here, which really gave me a good picture off the tee. And coming into the green, luckily that one tree did not come into play at all. A smooth gap wedge to the middle of the green. I should have been flag hunting here. It's another 35 foot birdie putt. I just would love to see these things to drop, but it's just another comfy tap in par and we can head down to quite possibly the signature par three here at Torrey Pines. The beautiful 15th hole plays a steep drop off right down the hill, 202 yards to the middle of the green. This plays as a 15 yard adjustment down the hill from the tips. Normally right into the ocean breeze, it's a tough number to figure out what you're doing. I played it for about 190 yards, and what do you know, the wind hit it, and I came up short in the bunker. Nothing I shouldn't be able to handle here, as the bunkers are relatively new and have great sand in them, but these greens roll out no matter what kind of shot you're hitting into it. Another 15 footer for par, I would love to see this drop and these pars to continue to go, but I am human. It's a bogey, and we're on to the 16th. With the city of La Jolla way off in the distance, this tee box might be one of the most isolated points on the entire golf course. This beautiful par 4 16th heads straight back up the hill, and don't be deceived by this drone footage as this is the steepest climb on the entire golf course. Make sure your legs are ready. I'll tell you what, mine were not and got stunned by the top of this hill. 393 yards with this hill adjusted is easily going to be 420 yards all the way around. If you can cut a little bit off the off of the fairway, go for it. And there's really no trouble up there except for the big canyon off to the left. And that bunker long should really never come into play. Now, finally, a hole that perfectly set up for my cut. I just got to let it go and it cut the corner beautifully actually a little bit too much it was in the right hand rough here but a full lob wedge once again from 85 yards should cover this flag stick and it covered it once again man no spin on that ball bouncing and rolling all the way out to the back of the green we just need another two putt here all right 
the last par five of the day, and it's time to feast. A new tee box is way back left, stretching this out to 520 yards and really making you want to hug the canyon to get as much out of this hole as you can. Those two bunkers on the inside are going to play as the primary hazard outside of the canyon. You got to go around those bunkers and play this par five all the way in, and it the fairway just continues to narrow as we get closer to the green. This is a relatively flat hole. It's really no undulation change at all, except for that little dip you see there in the drainage. And coming into the green, man, they shifted it over, and does it ever bring the canyon into play? Especially on a long shot, this green is hugging that canyon. Now it's really a cool look here when you're up on the hill here, you get a great look of the Torrey Pine State Park behind you, all the exposed rock faces. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous sight. Now 260 yards with my two iron was gonna be too much, so I thought I could hit it up to the front edge with the four iron, but it just went right into the bunker. Splashed it out beautifully, best bunker shot of the day, up to four feet. Tapping in for birdie, taking advantage of the par five, and we're even par on the back nine as we head into the final and most difficult hole on the back nine. 485 yards from the tips and not a bunker in sight. What makes this difficult? 485 yards from the tips, typically playing right back into that ocean breeze. A little uphill off the tee as well. Make sure you get that ball up and over that slight ridge to give yourself a good look into this green. Luckily, the front of the green is not protected. You can roll up any kind of shot up into it, but the left and right have more bunkers than you've seen most of the day. So much sand to collect any kind of a shot, and if you're down to the right, it's just a severe drop off down towards the ocean. And another cut that I just couldn't quite keep on the fairway, off to the right hand side and in the trees, it knocked some distance off of it and man was this ball sitting down in the rough. The nastiest lie I saw all day, saved it for the last here, and just gotta get it up and down off of this fluffy lie short right of the green, up to about eight feet, and another makeable par putt here. and like the video. We'll see you next time. Later.